Hey, it's Clay. Wanted to just fill you guys in on a Epiphone Valve Junior mod that I have done. Uh, this is kind of, I've done stage one of the mods, which kind of improves the basic circuit. I'll have links in the description for those, but this is kind of the stage two mods where you actually are changing or adding things. And the first thing that I've done is I've added a tone control, and I'll make sure to have a link to this in the description, but you can see right here, this is the tone control that I have added. So you just, this, this wire running on the right side, the black one, going to the volume pot with the white, red, and black outputs, that is the stock wire into the stock volume pot. So all you need to add is a one meg pot, uh, four, four, 4700 PF cap and a 470 PF cap, and then a couple of extra wires. And um, yeah, it basically is a really pretty sweet little tone control. I just got it up and, and working here just now in the last five minutes and played with it initially and my first reaction is that it does exactly what I wanted it to do which was to um, give me a better balance of lows and highs and if anything help it to be a little bit brighter and so uh, you know because I'm really wanting to keep it towards the high end of the tone control so if anything it might be even rolling off a little bit of low end so um, anyways, I don't exactly know what's going on electronically. All I know is with my ears, I hear that the amp is brighter and it really helps to uh, increase some of that really flabby, farty low end. So um, I'm just going to set the camera down and uh, play for just a minute and try and show it off. I unfortunately don't have my amp mic'd, so I apologize about that. I don't have the right cable right now. Okay, so to begin with, I'm just going to turn everything on zero, both volume and tone, and then I'm going to um, walk you through as I change it. So this is with the volume on about one, and the, the tone is all the way off. This is kind of where the Valve Junior was prior to mod. <laughs> just going to go ahead and turn the tone all the way up to the maximum. So that is a sound that was not in this amp previously. It's, it's almost too bright. It's piercing, um, which is kind of exciting. I want to be able to go to that extreme just on the range of possibilities. I'm just going to increase the gain a little bit. tone knob down to just about eight.
So I am really hoping that that did not clip the speaker too terribly badly. But where I ended up there is a really, really good crunch sound. Um, a lot of more definition and a lot less of that flabby, farty low end. Really, really good sound. And uh, something I'm very happy with. I have to say this tone control has done more than I expected. I was a little concerned that it would only provide high end roll off, but it really is actually sweeping both lows and highs. Um, I mean, they're really, to my ear, when I turn that tone control up, the low end is getting cut, which is exactly what I wanted. So again, I will leave a link to the description down below. This tone control is extremely simple. You could find this, these parts on the internet for five bucks and uh, solder it yourself. So please, um, also if you're going to modify an amp, make sure you know what you're doing. I've got a demo video on my channel of how to safely discharge capacitors, but I'm really, really happy with the, what this has done to this amp. So if you have any questions, let me know down below, and I'll see you soon. Bye.